two cosine squared theta minus three cosine theta equals two. H and M, go! Okay, so now back from our live footage, you can see that these trig equations are getting more complicated. So let's take a step back and make sure that we know how to solve these so we can see how we resolved the sector X issue. We have two cosine squared theta minus three cosine theta equals two. This is an equation. I could factor out the cosine thetas, but what's that really do for me? Because I have it equals two, not equals zero. So that's not really gonna get me anywhere. So it might help to try to think of this outside of trigonometry and see what we can relate to our prior training. So if I replace my cosines right now just with a variable, 2x squared minus 3x equals 2. That's something that we're familiar with. We know how it works. That's a quadratic equals 2. I would subtract the 2 to the other side and get 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. It's a quadratic. It has a 2 in the front. Can't use GCF on it. So I'm going to need to use guess and check method or bottoms up to solve this. Let's use guess and check since these numbers are fairly small. We have 2x squared in the front, so 2x and 1x would multiply that. Then we have negative 2 in the back, so 1 and 2 or 2 and 1 would multiply to that. So I'm going to write 1 and 2 as my guess. Now it's negative 2, so I want to make one of these negatives. The middle term's negative, so I'm going to make the higher number negative. Now I need to multiply across to see if I get the middle term's coefficient. 1x times 1 is 1x, 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Add those together, I get negative 3x, which is in fact my middle term. So now I know my two factors are 2x plus 1 and 1x, or x, minus 2. So now that we've kind of remembered that, let's go back to the trig function and try to do those things. So with this quadratic trig equation, I'm going to do the same thing where I subtract the twos so that I can make sure it equals zero. Then I would have two cosine squared theta minus three cosine theta minus two equals zero. That way it looks like a quadratic that I can now factor either using bottoms up or guess and check method. Use whichever you prefer, they both work the same. Now instead of using a variable x, you're using cosine theta. So be sure to include cosine theta in your factored form. See how we're getting the same answers for both methods. Let's head back to sector X. Okay, we have to factor it. Two cosine plus one times cosine theta minus two. All right, zero product property. Two cosine theta plus one equals zero. Cosine theta minus two equals zero. Let's solve. Minus one minus one, two cosine theta equals negative one. Divide off the two. Cosine theta equals negative one half. Oh, okay, so we got cosine theta equals negative one half. We gotta figure out what the theta values are. Unit circle, cosine theta equals negative one half. That's X is negative. So that's gonna be this triangle on the unit circle and this triangle on the unit circle. That is two pi thirds, three, four pi thirds. So theta equals two pi over three and four pi over three. Cosine theta minus two equals zero. Cosine theta equals two. It's not in range, so we have our answer. Theta equals two pi over three and four pi over three. Agent R, two pi thirds, four pi thirds, checking. <laughs> Missile terminated. Missile terminated. Okay, trainees, we need to come back into the training room. We had cosine theta equals two. Now, Agent M is quite experienced at this and knew that was out of range and was able to give me the correct thetas to terminate the missile. But let's go back and talk about why cosine theta cannot equal two. If you recall, the graph of y equals cosine theta is shaped like a cup. We start up, go to zero, down low, back to zero, up high. Concave down, concave up, concave down. Domain is all real numbers. The range is the y values. And if you remember, the lowest y value was negative one, the highest was positive one. So we go negative one less than or equal to y less than or equal to one. Or we can say negative one to one inclusive of both. Therefore, cosine theta equals two is not possible. Agent M knew this quickly. This also makes sense because on the unit circle, we know the greatest value we have is one. Trainees, it may be good to review the strategies we've learned so far with these equations. For the first equation, it was just like a linear equation, so our big goal was to isolate the trig function. We use that in almost all of these when we're trying to solve. Then we also saw one where we had to factor out the GCF. And finally, we saw a quadratic where we had to use the guess and check method or the bottoms up method to factor and then use zero product property to solve. These will be our three methods for solving trig equations. Let's go back to the live footage. Two sine squared theta minus seven sine theta equals four. Okay, I need to make this look like a quadratic equation, so subtract those fours. Two sine squared theta minus seven sine theta 
minus four equals zero. Okay, use guess and check method or bottoms up method. Um, I want to multiply to two, so two and one. I want to multiply to negative four, so I could do four and one or two and two, but I want to get to seven, so I better do four and one. Um, I want to get a negative, so one of these needs to be a negative. The middle term's negative, so I'm gonna make the larger factor negative. If I multiply across, I get two times negative four is negative eight. One times one is one. one plus negative eight is negative seven. So that works, I got the middle leading coefficient. So then I need to hug these and make them look like factors. Two sine theta plus one, because there's my plus one, times sine theta minus four equals zero. There's my factored form, zero product property. Two sine theta plus one equals zero. Sine theta minus four equals zero. I gotta solve the first one. Minus one minus one, two sine theta equals negative one. Divide off my two, I get sine theta equals negative one half. Where does theta satisfy this equation? Let me think of the unit circle. Sine is the y coordinate, so I'm gonna look at the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Negative one half is the y coordinate here and here. Those are my sixes. So if I count around, one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, six six, seven, pi over six, eight, nine, 10, 11, pi over six. So my two answers are looking like seven pi over six and 11 pi over six, but wait, sine theta equals four. That is out of range. So these are our two answers. Agent R, seven pi over six and 11 pi over six. Seven pi six, 11 pi six. <sighs> missile terminated. Oh, it's another missile. This one's closer to me. Agent R, get on comms. What, what? Taking over comms. Okay. What is it? What is it? Cosine squared theta equals negative three cosine theta. Go, go, go! Cosine squared theta equals negative three cosine theta. We need to go ahead and add the three cosine theta. Cosine squared theta plus three cosine theta equals zero. Now, GCF, factor cosine out. That leaves cosine theta plus three. Zero product property, cosine theta equals zero. Cosine theta plus three equals zero. I'm gonna throw out the cosine theta plus three equals zero because cosine theta can never equal negative three. That's out of range. When does cosine theta equal zero? At pi halves and at three pi halves. Agent M, quick, agent M, pi halves, three pi halves. Pi over two and three pi over two. <gasps> Terminated, we're safe. This concludes training video 3-3. Thank you so much for joining us for our live footage. Please complete the 3-3 assignment.